CP against Westbrook. Andre screens, gets it back, turns, and jam. Oh my goodness. The windmill. What's good, YouTube? If you love basketball, you have come to the right place. My name is Wiseman, and in today's video, I am so damn hyped because the Los Angeles Lakers have just acquired Andre Drummond in the bio market from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down film on Andre Drummond and I'm gonna be giving you guys five reasons as to why he improves the Los Angeles Lakers dramatically. Now if you are new to Better Through Ball, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really helps support me as a content creator. And guys, I literally live, sleep, and breathe basketball, so I do appreciate it greatly as I'm trying to turn my passion into a career. Now back to the video. All right, so Andre Drummond has been playing in small market teams his entire career. Now he's actually only 27 years old, guys. I didn't know this. That kind of hypes me up because I thought he was older, but what this means is he's entering into his prime and we all know there's no better player to play with in your prime than LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Now the Lakers, legit, they are looking scary. All right, I don't care what Brooklyn has, I don't care what the Clippers have, the Lakers just got a whole heck of a lot better. All right, so let's talk about the five reasons as to why Drummond is so elite. Number one, this dude is a straight bully on offense, all right? He is 6'11 without shoes, and he weighs in at 280 pounds, all right? This guy is a certified diesel truck, and it is, you're gonna see in the film in a bit that it really helps him on offense. All right, he's literally bullying grown ass men and you're gonna see that. So that is his first skill set, his ability to bully dudes on offense. Now his second skill set is his rim protection. All right, this is something the Lakers have been missing. Last year we had Dwight, we had JaVale McGee and we were swatting the balls everywhere now if you guys are serious at hoops you know that you know as soon as you step into the paint and the weak side help comes and it's a big dude and he's gonna block that shot you're gonna think twice so that's what we really have been missing this year as Gasol that dude can't jump over a stick on the ground I mean let's just be honest but Andre Drummond is gonna be protecting that rim with Anthony Davis and it's gonna give AD a lot of rest, right? He doesn't have to be the primary swatter and defender. He can kind of chill out and wait for his possessions on offense. Now, Andre Drummond's third skill set is his playmaking. And like I said, he has been in a small market team, so we haven't been able to watch him that much. But after watching this film that you guys are about to check out, he actually has a really good IQ. And this dude can make plays off screens, off pick and roll. He's got that great pocket passing. And this is why we liked Gasol. However, Drummond can do all this and more. All right, now his fourth skill set is his ability to yeah, that's right, offensive rebound. This dude is the best rebounder in the game. This guy is a freaking board monster, and he might just be one of the best offensive rebounders ever. I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what you think. However, I'm extremely excited because this dude, this dude just grabs all the boards. What can I say? He's a machine. Now, his fifth skill set is his ability to run to the rim or what we call rim running. You know, this is just another option that he gives the Lakers when he sets the screen and he rolls to the rim. LeBron, Schroeder, they can just toss the ball up and he can go get it for a easy flush. Now, without further ado, guys, I know this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's jump into the film room and take a look at what makes Andre Drummond so damn elite and why the Lakers are about to win the championship back to back let's go let's hop in the film room let's get it see you in a bit all right so the first aspect of andre drummond's game that is absolutely incredible is his ability to bully other centers now guys like i said 6 11 280 now this actually makes andre drummond the heaviest player in the nba and we can clearly see that he uses this to his advantage here we're going to see a double but no, it's not going to stop Andre Drummond from getting to the basket and using his physical size to dominate other bigs. Here we are going to see Andre Drummond just absolutely dominate Brooke Lopez and other centers who are very big. These guys are legit seven footers, but nope. They're not big enough to stop Mr. Andre Drummond. Now, the amazing part about this is that the Lakers are yet again going to be one of the largest teams in the NBA. So last year when they had Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, LeBron James, AD, they were massive. You know, every team that tried to penetrate the offense 
and the paint, they were just swatted away with such presence and it really made it hard for the other team to score inside the paint. You really had to beat the Lakers with the three ball. But here, as we see this year, they really didn't have the same rim protection with Marcus Gasol losing JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard. However, here, Andre Drummond, this is a massive pickup. All right, guys, it's just going to be so tiring to play the Los Angeles Lakers now. You got to deal with LeBron James, 6'9 at the point guard, then AD, 6'10", 6'11 at the four, and then Andre Drummond as a full seven footer, 280, always bringing it like he's going to hear. He's going to just blow by Tristan Thompson and now these are not small dudes that he is dominating look at this he's gonna get it LeBron's like god damn nothing we can do there wow next up is Andre Drummond's ability to protect the rim now this is what the Lakers have been missing this year although they are the number one rated defensive team in the league they are really missing JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard as last year the paint was just so clogged that it was very hard for the other team to penetrate the D without getting swatted by a big. However, this year with Gasol as an addition, you know, Gasol really can't jump much at this stage in his career and it was hurting the Lakers line of defense. Now with AD and LeBron, they're still going to be a great rim protecting team. However, now with Drummond, it's just scary. I mean, it's going to be really damn hard to penetrate this D. Here we're going to see not a rim protector, but get that garbage out of here from the three-point line. Drummond's next skill set is the most surprising skill set of them all. It's his ability to make plays. Now this first play, I love it because... Andre Drummond's going to show his full skill set. He's going to get the pass. He's going to start the playoff, and then he's going to follow the play and get the tip in. Absolutely incredible. This dude is such a workhorse, and it's really going to pay off when he's playing with the Los Angeles Lakers. Here we're going to see that Andre Drummond even has the full court pass in his bag, which is really going to benefit the Los Angeles Lakers because, as you know, they love to get out and run, and he's going to have guys like LeBron James, AD, who are waiting for that cherry pick, and if he can hit these... Boy, oh boy, is it going to lead to some easy buckets for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, here we're going to see Andre Drummond is going to get the ball. He's going to be setting the screens on the elbow, and he's going to find the guys for the, find his cutters for the bounce pass. And this is the reason that we liked Gasol, right? So even though Gasol is older and he can't protect the rim, we said to ourselves, you know what? He does have a good IQ. He is able to get others involved. Maybe he'll fit. However, Andre Drummond possesses these same skills, guys. So... Not only can he pass the ball well and get others involved on some, some plays that they'll run for Andre Drummond, but he can also protect the rim and do so much more. So I am so excited to see him with the Los Angeles Lakers because he's going to give LeBron James, AD, Dennis Schroeder some plays off where he can do his thing. Drummond's fourth skill set is no doubt his most dominant skill, and this is his ability to offensive rebound. Now, Drummond dominates both the defensive glass and the offensive glass. However, I just cannot imagine how hard it's going to be for other teams to box out not only only Andre Drummond, the best offensive rebounder, but Anthony Davis and LeBron James. I mean, guys, this is just incredible. I really have to stress the fact that Andre Drummond, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James of the Los Angeles Lakers are going to be crashing the offensive glass, and boy, I would not want to be boxing these three out. Now, what I also think is going to happen is that Anthony Davis and LeBron James are going to be able to rest a lot more with the presence of Andre Drummond, doing a lot of the dirty work, all right? So we know that Andre Drummond can go off for 20 or 30 points. However, that is not going to be his role on the Lakers. He is going to be doing all the dirty work so that Anthony Davis and LeBron James can stay fresh and here we're going to see him LeBron James and Tristan Thompson can't even box the dude out oh my god last but not least is Drummond's ability to run to the rim and put a ton of pressure on the other team center going downhill so like we're going to see here, if you don't take Drummond seriously and you don't stick to him, he's going to get an easy lob. What this really means for players like Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Dennis Schroeder, who are high usage pick and roll players, is that they're going to be having a lot more freedom coming off the pick and roll, right? Because if you have Drummond with the other team center occupying him, the other team center really isn't going to be able to cheat and step up from the weak side because otherwise he's just going to be giving up an easy lob to Andre Drummond like we just saw there. 
So Anthony Davis, LeBron James, all these pick and roll players are going to have such more freedom when they're coming off the screen and roll. And boy, is this just a scary sight. I mean, Andre Drummond, like I said, guys, Andre Drummond, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, like that is such a hard thing to guard when they're coming right at you. And look at this, guys, like he's just dominating. He's going to just keep moving to the rack and nope, nobody's going to stop that flush absolutely no one wants to get in front of that once again here we're going to see stanley johnson with the dump off and rudy gobert isn't even going to try to contest that he's just an animal and i am so damn hyped for this squad let's take a look at this one more time in slow mo my god welcome back ladies and gentlemen if you're still watching this video thank you so much i do really appreciate all the support and i really hope you did enjoy the film breakdown it takes me a lot of time to do these videos but i really enjoy sharing all my insight with you guys now if you're not yet subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe to better through ball if you are still watching hit that like button it really helps my channel grow and let me know in the comment section down below who you want to see broken down next and I'll make sure to add that player to my list. Until next time, guys, I'm going to go finish editing this video, and I'll see you guys in the film room in our next session. Have a good one, guys. Peace.